future uh what what what, you, what big projects i mean obviously you know you, your 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 current writing thing what other big projects do you have going on what do you what do yeah, you yeah i'm work, i'm developing a couple of um pilots like some tv series of my own so um hoping that you know one day down the line i can they get picked up and i can show run those but just still just still working away on my own projects and things and then we're hoping you know hoping for a Virgin River season seven. So everyone, please tell Netflix, you know, <laughs> please tell Netflix. Uh, and the yes. best way to tell Netflix is to watch what's on and including the That's earlier right. seasons. If you've been thinking about doing a rewatch, now is the time to do the rewatch. So yes, for sure. get it there and support. If you, if you love it, support it. That's the best way. Um, yeah. uh, I do that with everything I like. Uh, and uh, I think also being part of a fan community, like helps keep you in the loop with, Hey, we're all going to watch it on this day. So you get like, Whatever, whatever's going on uh, to help a show, uh, do it. Uh, totally. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you the one question I'm sure you either dread or you've been asked a lot of time. Between writing and acting, where is where is your big love? Oh, yeah, that is a tough one. Um... And I apologize because I know it's not a fair <laughs> question, right? It's not a fair question, especially when you have a writing job right now. But you clearly love acting, too. Um, yeah. Well, acting was my first love for sure. Acting's yeah. my first great love. Um, but I really love writing and I, for me, they really go hand in hand. I think my writing makes my acting stronger. My acting makes my writing stronger. So they don't feel separate to me. It just feels like part of my whole creative world and creative process. So yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't pick. It's like having twins and saying, you know, you got to get rid of one of them. So Oh, my mother would have picked all my siblings before me. I, I <laughs> not even twins. They're like, ah, the young one. I have enough. <laughs> um, I, I was wondering also when you, as a writer, you're you're you were on set when they were filming. Uh, you mentioned that earlier. What's what's it like watching somebody else perform your words, and you're there and just taking it all in? How how does that feel? It's amazing. It's a really surreal experience. I mean, we we'll do like a cast table read as well. So the, you know, we'll get all the cast together. They read the words off the page and we kind of watch and we might take notes and, you know, make adjustments. Um, so that's always the first step of just like hearing the words out loud that haven't come from your head, you know, trying to be the voice of these characters. Um, and then to see, you know, what a director brings to it, what the actors bring to it, what all about amazing like technicians and crew um, bring to like really you know, bring the story to life basically is just phenomenal to watch. And I just love watching the the cuts when they come in and just seeing how it all comes together. And yeah, I just love it because I think once you, you know, you write something as an uh, as a writer and you're working with a team of other writers and the showrunner um, for season five and season six, we've had Patrick Sean Smith, who is amazing. Um, you know, you work together on that. You're hearing it in your own voice. You're imagining it. But then to see it come to life and to see it elevated by all the craft work and the talent of everyone else, just like, just like everything shines, it's beautiful. So what's what what are some of the big differences between what was in your head when you were writing it and what was on the screen when you were watching it completed and ready to go to Netflix? What what were some of the big changes that that you loved or were like? I'm not going to ask you to go any more negative on this. What were some of the changes you loved? <laughs> uh, honestly. Um, I wouldn't even say changes. It's just like, you know, sometimes an actor might deliver a line that just gives it so much more heart than you thought or brings a bit of like wit and humor to something that you didn't necessarily put in that way. And so it's just fun to see how other people interpret the work and how we all collaborate to make it come to life. So I don't have anything um, specific, but you know, in my, in my episode, um, 509 called Angel's Peak we have this beautiful like minor spoiler alert but this beautiful rain scene where there's sort of a, a storm that kind of comes out of nowhere and right. we get a beautiful kiss between um Mel and Jack who are our, our leads and it was just beautiful to watch that scene come to life and see the light the lighting of the lightning and, and the rain coming down and just the, the scope of how they 
they shot it. It was just, yeah, it was really fantastic to watch. It was really beautiful. Yeah, because uh, I believe in writing, you're not supposed to give the director too much direction, like let them choose the shot or if they're going to zoom or um, do you have, a, do you ever struggle doing that when you're on the set? Like I pictured this as th just a camera on two of them and they almost kiss or something like, do you struggle? I think, it I think it depends. I think some, you know, some writers will write like, some writers who maybe have more of a director background, especially in film, might might write that in, like we pan across here, we track through following yeah. this person, we start wide, we do this. Um, so I'll only put things in like that when I'm really like, I really want it to look like this, or I really want to give the impression that like, this is what we're going for. Um, but at the end of the day, I really trust the work of, of the director. Sure. It's their job to, you know, to bring it to life. And they have more experience than me in directing. So I just trust what they do i don't think i've had i haven't had the experience where i'm like oh that's not that's I, I, not right I at imagine all <laughs> you wouldn't you i mean that you 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 got hired because of your incredible talent and so did they and you have to trust that it's all going to be there um i'm just curious like if it's hard to just not go i, I was thinking more like because <laughs> i don't you I, don't appear yeah. to be the kind of person that would actually go and say i wanted this but like God, like in your heart you're like no <laughs> yeah um, i think I think, you know, to, to answer that, honestly, like I think in the collaborative process, um, you know, as creatives, we all learn things, you know, what things we can let go or what things are just, you know, a different interpretation and what things we might go like, this is actually really important to the story that we keep this. And then it's just really just about having a, a conversation. I think it's not about like trying to control and going, no, I, I wrote it like this. You have to do it like this. It's just saying, you know, like, Hey, I, you know, I feel like the intention is this and I feel like we're, we're trying to, you know, give this kind of feel for the right. audience. You know, we want this, we want to build suspense here or we're coming to a punchline here. And I think just having that conversation because maybe, maybe in the writing, people didn't, didn't get that or something, you know, somewhere it's been changed right. in the interpretation. So I think it's just always about having open lines of communication and everyone feeling, feeling safe to have those conversations. I, and this is a relationship show and I should have seen that a mile away um, that you have to build relationships or, or go in there with trust for the people that put you there uh, and yeah. those sort of things. So um, yeah, that's a great answer. Thank you so much. It actually gave me insight. I should have had one of those educational things. And speaking of education, do you have advice for people wanting to get started right now? I mean, we talked about how you have to be serious about it. You have to educate yourself and you have to, um, you know, put the work in. Do you have any other advice? Because you've, you, you're, you're, you're a rocket right now. You're just nailing so many things. And it was such a pleasure to, to learn about you uh, before I met you. And now, do you have advice that you would give to uh, people just getting started? Because we have a show coming up with a writer, an author, or rather an author, so, a vocalist and a musician. And I, I oh, love cool. the idea of helping out others so they could watch this and learn from you. Do you have? Yeah. I think for me, it's just, you know, if you're passionate about it and you love it, then keep doing it, keep at it. Um, you know, I personally feel like education is important. So like if you can do short courses or find a mentor or go to university or, you know, whatever you can to, you know, read read books, watch shows and, and really dissect them, you know, read plays. I think that's really helpful. And I think also like keep working at it. So if you want to be an actor, you know, um, find find people who have those similar interests, you know, um, work on scenes together, film them or put on a play. Um, if you're a writer, keep writing because, you know, I think what I found starting out as a writer as well is, um, and I think maybe I could, I could be misquoting, but I think Ira Glass said, you know, sometimes when you're starting out, you have taste and you know what's good, but your, your skill and talent isn't quite there yet. So you write something, you're like, oh, this is terrible. How can I get to be you know, a Shakespeare or <laughs> Michaela Cole or, you know, whoever. Um, and so it's actually just about practice. So write that, you know, reflect on it, see what you can do better and then write the next thing. And, you know, that's always going to be better. And I find that with my writing too. I think every step of my process, I get a little bit better at it. So I think just keep, keep at it and keep working on your craft and, 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 and find things that you love outside of it that gives you life experience that feeds into the creative work as well. Nice. Nice. Thank you. I, I hope people will take that with it and put it in their hearts uh, because I've heard uh, some bits of that before and then there's new stuff in there uh, that I think is really good advice. Um, and I'm going to hopefully take it to the people we interview in a couple of weeks here. So 
gentlemen welcome back to the screen this is uh kind of where we wrap it up and we, we have a little bit of fun uh, we don't have anything planned specifically but um i am really blown away uh by everything that you're doing and have done and i i look forward to watching your uh movie i or, or yeah your movie your I want to call it a short just because I haven't seen it in so many times. There are shorts that you can't watch, but it's a full length 90 minute movie. Yeah, right? this one, yeah, feature film 98 minutes. I would love, do you guys, do you ever like gather the bloopers and release that on the side to get people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not for this one, but we, we did have, we did a lot of like um, social media clips and, you know, behind the scenes. And uh, if you look at the website, marleysomeone.com, I think I've got my little. It's like the little poster for oh, the show, beautiful. the film. Um, yeah, you can see some of the clips, the teasers, and the trailer on our website as well. So, thank you so much for your time. I, I had a wonderful time talking to you. Thank you for bearing. This was with our great. Time. Yeah, me yeah. too. It was it was so fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I hope to have you back sometime, but I also hope that you're way too busy to ever think about coming back again. <laughs> I just, yeah, I, I'm I'm blown away by what you have done and where you're going, and even the, to the next year of writing um, and all the projects you want. Let me know when you have a pilot out or, or something written yeah. out. Support you in any way I can. We all would. So thank you so much thank for you. your time. And if we don't have any yeah. questions, let's let's get out of here. And uh, everybody, have a great night. Thanks for watching us. Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend coming up. See you, everybody. <laughs> Have a great one. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Be safe out there. Treat each other well.